Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you all so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. As per usual, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I found some pretty interesting food items and a few new items that I personally have not seen and I'm excited to show you guys. So welcome back. Thank you all so much for everything, for all the support. Let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. Okay, my sweets. I have a few uh, more Valentine's items that I wanted to share with you. These were purchased after my Valentine's video that I made up. Forgive the shirt. Y'all know how it is. But I was on the hunt for one of these spa headbands. Now, I've got headbands, plenty of them. But when I saw this black one floating around on the Dollar Tree um, streets, I really hoped that I would be able to find it. And I did. And they are so nicely made, y'all. It just says spa headband. And it is a Greenbrier product. And let's see if we can open it real quick because it is so cute. It is nice and big and loose. It's not tight fitting. It's got a lot of um, little lint on it, but it looks like this. Isn't that nice? And it has wire in the um, ears, or I want to call them ears, but I love that black and red. And once I clean it up and get all the dust out of it, I definitely will be using this, but I really wanted this one. They had other ones in different colors. I think red, pink, and white maybe. I'm not really sure, but all I wanted was this one, and I got it, and I was so happy. And I have a little empty spot. <clears throat> if you see me pointing right here, right here on my wall that's irking me. So I went back and got one more piece of decor for Valentine's and I did get one of the gumball machines since they were um, new this year. This has a little juice on it, but I didn't notice that until I got it home. It's by Greenbrier. They're just calling it Decor. It says, I choose you, XOXO, love, and Valentine's. And I just thought it was cute. They had another one there too, but this was the one that I chose. So I got that. Let me put that over there. And then I got only one pair of the crew socks because they were in sizes 6 to 12. And I they had many, many varieties, but this was the one that I went for, the red and black. <laughs> so they're just the crew socks. 6 to 12, just to celebrate Valentine's Day. I'll put these on with my Crocs if the weather permits, you know, and so that the socks can show. So I just picked up one pair. And as you can see, I only had two flower sack towels hanging up there. That's all I was able to find this year. I have another Valentine's bag out there in that storage somewhere. But honey, I wasn't about to dig for it. But while I was down in South Hills, I don't even remember if I saw this one up here in my stores. But I just love this because it just simply says, love, love. <laughs> and it's double-sided as always, but I love this one. So I'm probably going to hang it right here on the corner. You know, I just have that heart hanging there right now until I decide what I'm going to do with it. Put it in a giveaway or something. So y'all keep, uh, stay tuned because I do have a nice little giveaway coming up. So I'm just letting you guys know. Stay tuned. Okay, so that's a little bit of Valentine's stuff that I purchased. And now I found some really, really nice, to me, food items. So coming okay, right up. So I'm just going to do the repurchases. I'm trying to lay off bread. I haven't made up my mind what I'm going to be doing for my fast for 21 days yet. Um, I think I'm going to try to give up bread. But, yeah, I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So, in the meantime, and in between time, I got me a loaf of bread, okay? <laughs> and this is just the perfect size loaf of bread for my household. The expiration day or fresh through um, January 18th. So, yeah, that'll be gone. I like to make my BLTs, my peanut butter and jellies, my grilled cheese with my tomato soup. I don't eat bread every day. I really don't. My English muffins are still in my refrigerator. But, you know, I do make homemade bread. But I only do that for the holidays. But, anywho, that's a repurchase. I got a loaf of bread. I was down in the, was it South Hills or Emporia, Virginia? And they had a whole shelf on the bottom 
full of the limited time only mine, um, pr Pringles Minecraft Suspicious Stew. So I picked up another one. So I'm looking at between the bread or the chips as to when I'm going to try to give up for my fast, okay? I hate making promises I can't keep, y'all, because as soon as my mind says I can't have something, that's all I want, okay? But anywho, I digress. The Best Buy is May 13th, 2024, and I told you guys before, I really, really like these. So I only picked up one can. For me, I think that was really, really good, okay? Because normally, yeah, about three or four of those. And a new item that I'm seeing in most of my local Dollar Trees right now, but I found this down in Virginia first. This is Chica Chica Rones Puffed Wheat Snacks Chili and Lime Flavor. So they're like the pork rinds, but they're um, cheese doodle kind of texture. And they're by DeRos, D-U-R-O-S. And they're used by April 26, 2024. And I opened these when I bought them from the um, South Hills, Virginia store to taste them because I had gotten hungry. They're different, you know. I'm trying to figure out how to describe them. First of all, the texture is like a cheese doodle instead of a pork rind. They look like the pork rinds, but the texture is more like a cheese doodle. They say... Puff wheat snacks, so they're light and they're airy, and the seasoning on them is what makes it for me. Y'all know I like that kind of seasonings on the chili and lime chips and stuff like that, so yeah, I mean, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I'm going to eat them. <laughs> when I get hungry enough, I'll eat them, and I think it's a little bit healthier than, you know, um, regular chips. And it just says serving about three servings per container. You get 28 crisp, crisps in one serving. And it just says ingredients, wheat flour, vegetable oil, canola sunflower, sunflower and or cottonseed oil, salt, spices. And yeah, that's it. Iodine, so it contains wheat. So yeah, chicarones, <laughs> chicarones, puffed wheat snacks in chili and lime flavor. So I grabbed them. I wanted to see what they were all about. And of course, when I came back here to my local stores, they had them. So they look like they had just gotten cases of them in. And then I've been seeing this floating around. And I showed you guys a while ago the, the cookies and cream one and the regular milk chocolate ones. I still have the milk chocolate ones in my pantry. I think I gave the cookies and cream ones away. But this now, they have stuffed puff, filled marshmallows, salted caramel. Whew, Lord, y'all know how much I love salted caramel, right? I'm like, oh my God. It is an 8.6 ounce bag. I had to go all the way down to Emporia, Virginia before I found these. And I'm looking for the Best Buy. Is, um, it's Best Before May 2nd, 2024. And they look so scrumptious, y'all. Oh my God. I have those little wooden skews that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And you know, I wet them and soak them in water first. And then I put a couple of these on and hold them over the stove and just melt them down. Oh my God, they're so good, y'all. And I still have my graham crackers from the Dollar Tree that I have not used yet. So this is just calling my name. I don't know. It says hungry for more. Um, it shows the s'mores on the back. It says serving size is one piece, <laughs> 80 calories. And then they have a s'more on the back. But doesn't that look good? I was just like, oh my Lord. It says s'mores and more. So they've got all kinds of little recipes on the back. Snack it, cocoa it, bake it, microwave it, air fry it, and roast it and toast it. Wow. <laughs> so that's what it says on the back. I was like, yes, please. I can't wait to bite into one of these. Okay. Okay, my sweets. I know, I know, I know my A1C is up. And I have a feeling that these are part of the reason of my A1C being up. And I, again, am debating on whether, well, I know for a fact, I'm going to give these up for my fast. But until I start my fast, 
I had to get me one more bag of my blue raspberry um, bubblegum filled lollipops. Y'all, I love these things. And they are so handy when you're hungry and they just take that edge off. But I definitely got to give them up because I know that they are definitely spiking my sugar. And this is Best Buy August 2025. So these are the blue ones. And then I got a small, oh, it is a, um, a 3.25 ounce bag. So you get about seven, maybe um, anywhere between seven lollipops in there. And this one is the What a Melon Blow Pops by Charms. And that was not by Charms, but this one is, and it is a 3.25 ounce bag. And it's best by August 2025. What a melon. I reached into my bag while I was driving from Virginia to get a lolly, y'all. And I didn't have any. I was very upset. <laughs> I have to remember to refill my pocketbook because, like I said, they really come in handy. They take the edge off if you're, you know, doing a road trip of any type. You know, most of the best Dollar Trees that I frequent are all, all of them, or at least an hour or slightly more than an hour away from me. Whether I go to Rocky Mount, Zebulon, all the way down in Raleigh, um, Virginia, et cetera, et cetera. So I like to have these on me because I don't like fast food. So yeah, I like to have these in my purse so I can just, you know, take that edge off until I can get home and get something to eat. This is another item that I bought and I probably have one of these cans in my pantry, but it's probably expired or gone bad by now because it's been in there for a while. But this is the cream cheese um, frosting by Pillsbury. It is a, what ounce? It, I can't see the ounces. Oh, 10 ounce um, container. It's best if used before or by January 29th, 2025. And I bought this and I'm going to zhuzh it up with my own buttercream. And I'm going to make that cinnamon cake. I was going to make it today for my neighbor and I because I made a spaghetti bake. And some garlic bread for her and I today. Well, I just gave her a package of them Christmas Oreos for her dessert because I had gotten tired. My hip and my back is not all the way back to normal yet. But thank God I'm not in excruciating pain. But anywho, I bought this because I'm going to add it, mix it in with my regular buttercream and top that cinnamon um, cake. So I got to do all this before I start my fast, y'all. Okay. And the next two items I found, I'm not sure if these are for me or for my sister. I was hoping to find some in my area, but they only have the chocolate here in my local stores. But this is the MRE Protein Shakes, Whole Food Protein. It's 25 grams of protein, 150 calories, zero sugar, but it's the salted caramel. Can y'all see that? It's the salted caramel. Now, some stores are selling these in the four packs, but y'all know my stores always break these up and where I found these at, they were broken up. I just saw on Marina's channel where she found the cases of four. I hate when these stores do that, but it is what it is. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm gonna score some four packs because I'm gonna go ham on them for my sister and I because she really, really needs the protein, but she's kind of got me drinking these shakes now. Like, when I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat, these shakes come in clutch, you guys. I mean, they really come in clutch. And they help regulate my sugar. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm hoping I can find some more because I haven't decided if she's going to get those or not. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I had to repurchase another one of my spicy brown mustards. I was looking for the Gouldens, but I could not find Gouldens in any of the stores that I frequent lately. But they do have the um, Dollar Tree brand. This is the Fresh Deli Market Quality Downtown Spicy Brown Mustard. It is a 12 ounce container. And I used up the last of my um, brown mustard when I made my devil, my bacon deviled eggs. And um, this is Best Buy March 12th, 2025. So I did get this because something is better than nothing. I don't like regular mustard. I like spicy mustard, okay? It is my favorite. And Gouldens is my favorite brand. 
And this is something new that I found recently. I think I found this over at my small Dollar Tree and it was the last one. And then when I went over to my large Dollar Tree, they had an entire case of it. But I don't really indulge in this kind of stuff, but I do like it. I try to use it gingerly, you know? <laughs> but I might pass this over to my cousin and her girls because they might like this. This is a nine fluid ounce sriracha hot chili sauce, great taste, gluten-free, non-GMO. And you know, they've had different G um, sriracha sauces in the Dollar Tree before, but this is best before April 28th, 2025. So it's got a nice shelf life on it. And it looks like this. Let me see if you guys can see that. Sriracha hot chili sauce. So I just recently found that and it looks good. And y'all know my favorite hot sauce is my Frank's Red Hot. This is what I grew up on. This is what my dad ate. Um, I never even knew there was another kind of <laughs> hot sauce out there until I grew up. But yeah, this is my favorite, but this is Sriracha. That means it's a nice little zing to it, you guys. So if you like spicy, and you want you see this at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar twenty-five? Grab yourself one, okay? All right, coming up a few more food items and then a couple of miscellaneous. Okay, so I was surprised to find this. I had seen it floating around on others' hauls and stuff or walkthroughs, but I had to go all the way down to Emporia, Virginia, once again in order to find it but i did find it and y'all know how i love my ramen this is the three pack twisted noodles chicken ramen flavor total net six um 0. 0.6 75 ounces each cup is three um oh 2.25 um ounces and you get a three pack for a dollar 25 you guys a three pack i thought that was awesome and y'all know, I always judge my um, ramen up. I put, you know, fresh vegetables in it. If I have any chicken or ground turkey or anything left over, I'll throw that in there and some, you know, peppers or something on top. I'm looking for the best buy, y'all. And I'm, I'm not, oh, there it is. It is right there in front of my face. But it's best buy December 29th, 2024. So, yeah, I picked one up. I have a lot of ramen in my in my pantry, so I only picked one up because, yeah, I have so much ramen <laughs> in my pantry. I have to declutter that pantry. I did my refrigerator today and impromptu, didn't plan it, but y'all know that's how most of the things happen in my life. I went in there, washed up a few dishes in my sink, and the next thing I knew, I was cleaning out my whole refrigerator, taking out a whole bag of garbage from the holidays. But this is what you saw in the thumbnail. And I was tweaked, y'all. Oh. <laughs> this I found at my own local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road. And they had a whole U-boat blocking the thing. But these big eyes saw right underneath or over top of that U-boat. And I was like, what is this? This is called Parashore Diced Carrots, two times four ounces. You get 11, one, oh, eight ounces each cup. You get two cups in this envelope, and it says lightly seasoned with sea salt, and it's microwavable. And the best buy date on here, I saw it before I turn the camera on. Hold on, it might be on the individual containers. Hmm, or it might be engraved in the green. I don't have my glasses on. The best before hold on let me okay, look at my sweets they were on the inside of the individual cups have you guys ever seen anything like this at the dollar tree before they were filling up the food aisle in my local dollar tree today so i can't wait to go back and see what else they put in but all the dollar tree managers are on the verge of quitting because they slash the hours and they're only having like one manager and one cashier run the store the entire day and they're getting like 100 and 200 piece trucks that they have to unload and the manager has to do all of that and it's really really a lot so anyway i found this one with the diced carrots and the best before date or best buy date is september 12 2025 
they look like this. They have little carrots in them. And then you can see the date. Okay, do I have it backwards? I hope not. And the ingredients, the first thing I did was check the ingredients, and it just says carrots, water, salt, and citric acid. That's it. And one cup is 10 calories, is only 10 calories, and they're microwavable. And I thought these would come in clutch for me when I'm cooking for my neighbor and I want to make her a veggie. You know, I could just pop one of these little cups into the microwave as her vegetable for that day, or both of them if I need them both for her. So I usually try to fix her plates for at least two days, so I'm not cooking every day. I don't cook every day for my soul. Okay, I'm just saying. Then they also had the Parashore, lightly seasoned with sea salt, sweet corn. And this looks like this, and it just says microwavable. I was like, what? <laughs> and you do have to open the thing up to see um, what the Best Buy date is on here. On the corn, it is, uh, I always do it backwards. On the corn, it is September 12th. What? Wait a minute. Oh, Whew. okay. It is sep September 12th, 2025. And so the corn looks like this. Okay, they have a, um, when the product was made and when it expires on top here. So that's what they look like, and they're all microwavable. It looks like a little fruit cup, doesn't it? So they had that one. So they had the carrots, the corn, and this is my favorite. I'm probably going to get a few of these because I like to make my little, what do they call those little dishes? Oh, God, I, ramekins of chicken pot pies, okay? And this is the mixed veggies. And again, lightly seasoned with sea salt, microwavable. And it looks like this. So you get the mixed veggies. Like I said, I had to move the U-boat just to reach these three. But when I go back there tomorrow, it should be all cleared. And the best buy is, again, 9th, 12th, 2025. So you've got peas and potatoes and carrots and all the ingredients are really, really clean. All they say is water. Because I was wondering. I was like, what are they in? And this one just says carrots, green peas, potatoes, sweet corn, water, salt, and citric acid. What? <laughs> at the Dollar Tree? For a dollar twenty-five? I don't even remember seeing something like this at the grocery store. But then, you know, I don't really be looking for stuff. But that is what... I found today. I will be back with a few little miscellaneous items and this haul will be over with. Thanks for watching okay, guys. Please. I always say I'm trying to make these videos shorter and shorter, but I have a lot of subscribers that say they like the long videos. So you're welcome. Okay. Cause I try to make them short, but <laughs> short story. Okay. <laughs> short story. I'm coming back from Emporia, Virginia. And I've told you guys before, from South Hills, Virginia Dollar Tree to Emporia, Virginia Dollar Tree, it's exactly 41 minutes, unless you drive slow, slower than me. But I was gone for a long time. I stopped off at the South Hills Dollar Tree first, of course, but I kind of rushed through there. I didn't really take my time like I normally do because the things that I went in there looking for, I didn't see, so I got a little dejected. So I go all the way down to Emporia. It's not that much better, but a little bit better, okay? And on my way back, this little small voice is saying, Sadie, why don't you stop back off at the small Dollar Tree? Because it's right on my way home. I got to drive right past it. And I was like, but why? They didn't have anything. And it, this little voice just kept saying, well, they were stocking. So they might have put something out there once you left. So I do. I stopped off at the small Dollar Tree and I found some wish list items. And I was really, really, well, I found some items that I didn't even know existed, first of all. But this was one of my wish list items. I was looking for this for Christmas for my brothers, but I could put these in their birthday gifts or I could just give it to them and say, here, you know. But I was really on the hunt for these Barbasol double sided board brushes and I found them. They put these out after I left, okay. And I, cause I, I would have seen these, okay? All this stuff that I'm getting ready to show you, I would have seen if it had been out the first time I went there. I picked up three of these because I wasn't sure if Odessa's husband would like one. So I got one of each for my brothers, and then I got 
one for Odessa for her husband. But these are so nicely made, you guys. Well, y'all know, Barbasol comes out with some really good stuff. It says double-sided bore brush, soft and firm bristles, gentle use, gent gently massages scalp, detangles and distributes natural oils, versatile for coarse or fine hair, dual-sided bristles, one side firm and the other side medium, and premium quality, genuine premium quality bore bristles. And they are. Just the wooden brush is just like so nice. And it says Barbasol on it. And then they got this side over here and then this side over here. And I was really, really excited to find these, you guys. So kudos to God for talking to me and kudos to me for listening to him because I would have passed right by them. And then by the time I got back down there, they would have been gone. And another item that I found, which I only saw in the South Hills, Virginia store on my way back. But then when I went into my local Dollar Tree, the small Dollar Tree today, earlier today, they had an entire um, display. As soon as you walk in the, what is it, Weekly Wow? They had all the containers, all the new containers, all the old containers in the square, in the round, blah, 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 yada, yada. They had an entire end cap full. So I just said, you know, I just cleaned out my refrigerator. I'm not sure if I'm going to want something like this in here, but I said I would get one. It's called Storage Essentials Refrigerator Storage Bin. It is 12 by 6 by 3.5 inches. And they have on the picture here, they have lettuce and carrots and peppers and squash in there. But it looks like this. It's a little tray like this. It is a Greenbrier product. But I don't know if you guys can see the dimensions in there. Storage essential. And then you can see they're, they're putting their lettuce and veggies in here. And it is a Greenbrier product. So I know that if I want some more... I know I can go to the small Dollar Tree and get them. I don't have to go all the way back down to Virginia. I'm, I'm, I'm really anxious to get on the road and go back to Wake Forest and Rocky Mountain and stuff, but I won't be doing that until Sunday when I go to church for first Sunday. But yeah, it has the little skid marks here. I mean, I just had to clean out my whole refrigerator today, y'all. The drawers... Some stuff had weeped, and you know, I was just like, I didn't smell anything, but I saw it. And I was like, okay, we got to clean this refrigerator out. So I started with one. If I want more, I'm going to go back and get some more. But I'm going to start with that one. I have to wash it first. And these are the items that I found when I went back. Really, really, that I was like, am I crazy? Did I not see these? I know I didn't see them. They put them out after I left. This is some more of the Bed Bath & Beyond items. Yeah. Bed. Is my camera going dark? My. Hold on, y'all. Okay. It looks a little weird. It looks a little dark. Like something blew out or something. I don't know. Anyway. These are some more Bed Bath & Beyond um, kitchen essentials. Y'all remember when I found the flatware one? The big one? I gave that to my sister. Because I didn't feel like I had room. But then I saw this one. And y'all know I'm getting ready to declutter my drawers. And clean out everything. And donate or give away whatever I can. But I thought this was really, really cute. It has different sizes. And they all have that non-skid um, pattern in here. $1.25, y'all. I only picked up one because I didn't think Odessa would want one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I only picked up one of these, okay? So I only got one so far. I might even pass that one over to my sister. But these are what I love the most. I've showed you guys, you've seen the turntables several times. I never, ever did find the large turntable that Odessa wanted. But y'all know I got plenty of these to put in giveaways. These are the medium ones that came out. Okay, now they have these cute, cute little ones, y'all. Look at this. They are so cute. These are perfect for your pantry. They're per I have a Lazy Susan on my table already, so I always tell you guys, you can put these in your bathroom, your um, cosmetics, your perfumes, whatever. I just thought they were so cute. I should have bought them all, but I didn't. I only purchased three. 
So I was like, if Odessa wants one, I will give her one of these, but I'm keeping at least two of these. I'm hoping to see them again, but I'm going to tell y'all straight out, the only places I've ever found any of the Bed Bath & Beyond items was either in Rocky Mount or Virginia. I have not, oh yeah, I did find some stuff here. We got it later, but you know, you know, <laughs> if they put it out. Then you can get it, cause my 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 Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road did get um, some of the turntables, but yeah, these are the little ones. They are simply essential non skid turntable, nine inch smooth glide, lazy Susan rotates non skid liner, keeps items in place, used in your kitchen, bathroom, home office, or more. And I was so thrilled. I said, now these are the little cutie ones that I wanted. And of course, they all have the Bed Bath and um, Beyond logo on the back of them. So you can see that there. But that is it for today, my sweets. I was excited to get this haul up for you. But I don't know if I'm going out tomorrow, Saturday. They're calling for really, really bad weather. So if we do anything, we got to do it tomorrow. I've been messed up in the head with the weekdays because of the holidays. My sister had to tell me today was just Thursday. <laughs> but love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all for my ride or dies. I love you all so very, very much. Everyone, have a blessed day. Stay warm and stay safe. Bye, guys.